I'm in uh, Cusco right now. I don't have my camera and I don't have a mic, so I'm using my AirPods and my iPhone propped up on the napkin folder um, to do my video. Um, on my 43rd birthday trip, it was yesterday, that I've just sat down to my first piece of sour and I'm waiting for my pui that is arriving, I think now in 20 minutes. It takes about an hour to prepare. I guess typically it takes two. So the topic for today is, um, which I kind of decided yesterday, I knew it was gonna revolve around turning 43, being in my 40s, and I didn't know quite what it was gonna be, but this is just gonna be about travel, about content creation, about what I've been doing. So I guess I'll give a little bit of a uh, background here. I have been solo traveling only just for a few years. This is because I was unable to, when I was younger, just financially was a, possible for me. I was in a lot of debt for most of my adult life and I got out of it um, in March of 2020 right before shutdown and right back in it because I invested in becoming a content creator but it is a passion of mine and I'm just going to keep pursuing it but with that said I'm doing a lot of intense traveling and solo traveling and learning along the way what that means and I realized that what I've been doing is trying to make up for lost time. I didn't do studying abroad, I didn't go backpacking, I never stayed in hostels. I've always wanted to. I've always known that I've had the energy and the youthful spirit, blah, blah, blah. So now that I can do it, I'm trying to do all these things at once, like going from place to place, giving myself barely any time because I'm just going boom, 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 one activity to the next. And in doing that, I realized I just can't do it anymore. As in, I'm I'm just not in my 20s. And I have to accept that. Traveling is a lot more different now. It looks different. And I think I'm doing revenge travel. That term exists. I don't know if this is kind of like a branch off of that, but it's, it's making up for lost time, essentially. And I am now doing the kind of travel that I've always wanted to do, but not taking into account, I just simply am a different person now. And my priorities are different. My energy level is different. I am ill-equipped now to be doing the kind of travel that, you know, that I missed out on, but that's okay. And I think I've accepted. So what I had done when I got here, I landed in Cusco for 7 p.m. and at a 3 a.m. start to go to Machu Picchu, which was a 13-hour excursion, came back home around 7 or so, and then had another 3 a.m. start to go to Rainbow Mountain. I, I got back and I was just white. And as much as I was happy to have been able to experience those uh, things that were on my bucket list, I also realized that it took the enjoyment out of it and that I didn't have the energy. I realized that I needed to change or rethink my approach to travel entirely and to come to terms with that. So I have, and actually, you know, before I get into it any further, let's wait for the Kui to come out and we'll, we'll get into more. So they actually just asked me if I wanted it with the head or not, and my response was however they feel is best, um, however it's typically eaten. So my guess is that it's going to be with the head. <laughs> sure enough, there's the head. I actually don't know how I'm going to eat it. I see a few hairs and some teeth. I don't know how to eat it, so I'm going to ask. Okay. How do I eat the head? Uh, just get the cheeks. Just get the cheeks. Open and broken and okay. break okay. the meat okay. as possible. Right? Okay. <laughs> All right, so you heard the man. Um, just eat around. That's good because I don't think I could have eaten that hard. Well, now that the Kui is here, let's get back into the topic. So, as a content creator in my 40s, I feel pressure to keep up with things. At this age, you're supposed to have it all figured out and be settled and, and uh, not be discovering new things because you've done it all. And I'm here becoming a content creator and being a travel content creator. I feel like I have to push myself to the limit a lot. The combination of that and also the revenge travel where I felt like I really needed to, you know, make up for lost time, but also keep up with what I believe is 
the competition. And then I realized now, because as much as there are the young folks that are doing this, there are also people like me who kind of appreciate slowing down and really enjoying things. So, mm, like this for well, the skin, so crispy. So, this trip. It kind of brought me back to reality. And the reality is, I'm in a different place in my life. I want to slow down. I want to enjoy things. I just simply don't have the energy to be anything that I'm not. And as much as I would have been so up for all the adventure and the back-to-back -back activities, it's really not for me anymore. And now that I finally slowed down and I'm enjoying the meal, I, I'm able to really enjoy life and I mean, that's the whole point right i want to do what i i'm passionate about and i'm passionate about traveling and i'm passionate about food but i want to enjoy it the way i know and there are plenty of other people that like to enjoy it that way too and i think that's the thing that we all have to realize we do idolize youth and long for those days but there is life a whole new life and adventure there's different kinds of adventure when you're older and i'm going to slow down and i'm going to really enjoy that and another lesson learned at the right age of 43 i'm always going to be learning but it's to just kind of be happy with where you are enjoy it the way it's meant to be enjoyed and what feels right for you for me i thought that slowing down that i was giving up that i was accepting defeat and it really isn't it's just embracing the new adventures that my 40s had in store for me and then my 50s well and then my 60s well so that's all that is and and i'm so glad that i had this trip and that i experienced it the way i did and i put myself to the test and like I've been learning this past couple of years especially that it's okay to embrace this, this, this new stage this new chapter um, so I'm going to continue to enjoy this continue to pace myself the rest of this trip I'm still going to be jumping off of uh, cliffs and doing all that stuff but I think the running around and spreading myself thin is where I'm going to just tone it down a bit but thanks for tuning in and joining me for this meal. And I hope to see you guys uh, in my next videos.